Tim Street Porter and Annie Kelly live in a 1928 house that was constructed as a kind of fantasy. It really is part of a tradition of romantic Hollywood and it's kind of the idea of recreating something that maybe never existed. Sometimes I imagine Greta Garbo coming up our stairs because she did. Greta Garbo and so many other amazing legendary people. Yes, that's true. Well, actually, I mean, you can kind of imagine everybody who Adrian dressed in those days could have conceivably come to the house if Greta Garbo did. Aunt Nita Luce came here, Cecil Beaton came here. Just endless, endless people, really. Eleanor DeWitt, who built the house, she lived in the guest house next door, so she would rent the house out to people. And that's how it got associated with the glamour of Hollywood. And what you and Tim have managed to do is something very rare, which is to animate the house with a whole contemporary life and yet retain the character of the historic magnificence of the proportion and the whole palette. Like you didn't do an intervention that was really super modern, which someone could have done. Yes, that's true. There were rumors that Helena had, to some time and degree, sort of haunted the house, and so we wanted her to be happy. <laughs> to appease her. Happily, we've not seen the decorating ghost, whoever he or she may be. There is a story about how one of the owners of the house was planning to rip out some of these doors onto the courtyard and he found himself being mysteriously pushed down the stairs. Tim and Annie have traveled the world producing over a dozen exquisite design books, their latest being Splash, featuring the most beautiful swimming pools across the globe. Cecil Beaton said that if there was one house he'd like to live in in Hollywood, it would be this house. And you can see why when you visit. It's a house that is so captivating, so magical. It is, I think, the most romantic house in Hollywood.